Debbie Lyons, a counseling psychologist and an interior designer. I help people solve problems. Building or renovation projects can be one of the biggest stressors a couple can undertake. My goal is to listen, learn, guide, and help them design. On today's show, we're going to discuss something I think a lot of people can relate to, style differences. This couple is flipping the house. The kitchen is the biggest stickler contemporary or traditional. Each person has their own style. How do we solve this problem? Easily. Stay with us. All right, what's going on? Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Kitchen cabinetry decisions, okay. not going well. Need to make decisions to keep on schedule, keep in budget, and it's just not happening. Goal is to flip this house. Absolutely. Kitchen problem? Kitchen problem, design problem, style problems. Thought we had it worked out, we don't. Let's do this, let you and I sit down and talk, get your vision, and then we'll talk to Kelly. Please. We can make this work. That would be great. It's typically just not this hard. We're at an impasse here and it's making me crazy. All right, Susan, let me be clear. You're ready to flip this house. Yes. You said you've had a vision. What are your thoughts about this kitchen? Well, I think the cabinetry design is of critical importance and we are uh, not on the same page with it at all. What are your thoughts? Well, I had a vision when I first came in here and I felt I knew exactly what it needed to be. Based on what, hon? Based on all of the cabinets and all of the kitchens that I've sold the last few years, based on what I'm seeing in the industry trade magazines, based on what's happening out there on TV and Architectural Digest. And I know what sells here, so I think i got a good handle on that. Well, and you also own a kitchen and bath shop, Hilton Head Kitchen and yeah, Bath. So, so that gives yes. you a little insight also. What are you thinking? Well, I would do something rather transitional. Okay. I know the lines and... Uh, it, Everything's trending a little bit more towards modern and clean line, but it's still a very uh, traditional market. Quickly, who is your demographic? Who do you think will buy this house? Because I think that's going to be important in determining what kind of cabinet style is appropriate. Absolutely. Uh, I would think uh, a typical retired, near retiring couple. Okay. All maybe right. a family with a small child or two. Okay. You know what I think we should do? Let's consider even some contemporary hardware. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Kelly and get his point of view. Then we'll come back together and see if we can't um, okay. solve this design okay. dilemma. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I hear what Susan's saying, but honestly, I don't think she and Kelly are that far apart. I think we can come up with negotiation and a compromise that's going to make them both happy. Oh my gosh, Kelly, I'm so excited to be here and talking to you. Usually, when you and I are together, it's talking about kitchens and baths. Of course, you own Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath, and we're talking about other clients. All right. Don't you think? Oh yeah. I mean, what do you think about other people now making these decisions? It's difficult. People struggle. Most people struggle. <laughs> Do they walk in and have it all figured out? Well, that's why I think it's so adorable that we're doing this together. And I really, I appreciate you calling me in to see if we can't come up with some kind of solution to all yeah, this. Yeah, I'm surprised we're in this position, but I hey, guess we're just like everybody else. It, which is kind of fun, isn't it? Yeah, well, all right, my question for you is what is your vision? Because let me tell you, creative genius here. So I'm thinking that you already know in your mind what, you're, what you envision. Uh, yeah, I wanted a little more modern. Okay. Um, Contemporary, maybe some some exotic woods. Are those popular now? Uh, they are, but people don't tend to step out of the box and do them. Okay. They walk up to our sample wall and say, "Ooh, I love that," but oh no, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to making the decision, they want to stay very conservative and inside the box. And okay. What's the purpose of the kitchen that you're doing now with the house? Are you going to flip it? No, or? Yeah, we're 
we're going to sell it. All right. Flip it. I talked to Susan before, and she kind of had a, an idea of the demographic of the person that was going to actually buy this. Who right. are you thinking would buy it? My role with Kelly is to manage his creativity and rein him in just a little bit. Well, I think it's possibly a, a young family okay. with children. Um, obviously, there could be a lot of uh, potential of a, of a retiree or okay. you know, a baby boomer mm -hmm. moving in, but I see a lot of, a lot of younger families buying, and especially in Hilton Head Plantation. Well, let me ask you this. Based on your experience, what are the trends that you're seeing? What kind of cabin chair are people really going for? Well, in Hilton Head yeah. or in general in the country? Because well, it's very different. It, all right, tell me both. Well, uh, there is a lot of contemporary and slab we're seeing mm -hmm. now with the exotic woods. Um, white. White is always in, and okay. especially in Hilton Head. People okay. tend to lean towards white. Mm -hmm. I know you're a color guy too, and I've seen a couple of things. I've worked with you on a couple of projects where we've done some pretty incredible islands yeah. in funky colors. Mm -hmm. We did a red kitchen. Yes, we did. That was my Stop red. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. And how did you talk them into going with something out of the box? No, I didn't talk them into it. That was their idea. And that's what I say, you know, you do have people out there that want to get out of the box and appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I think when it comes to them making a decision on their own property and for themselves, it's very difficult and, and they tend to stay conservative. They tend to... Is cost an issue with either... Susan's vision or your vision, whether it's traditional or more contemporary? Well, what she's leaning towards and what I'm leaning towards are very similar in price. There's okay. not a lot of cost, so that's not much of a factor for our decision making. All right. It's and do you style. Know, do you know the layout of the kitchen? Do you do you both agree pretty much on that? Yeah, we're pretty much going to keep it as it was. We just want to freshen it up, maybe put some higher cabinets in and things like that, dress up the island. Mm -hmm. but no, we're not going to change it up any. That, that equals more expense and cost towards the budget. Well, and I think one of the things that, that I have to keep into consideration, I have to consider with you is you are also a contractor. I mean, you can pretty much do any renovation from stem to stern. Right. For this particular one, did you have to take down walls or was this a major renovation? No, it's, it's mostly cosmetic. Just updating it and oh. uh, modernizing it, but no, we're not tearing out any walls. We're not really, you know, mod modifying anything. We're working within the footprint. Not to cheat your horn, but that is where your genius is. Coming up with creative solutions. I know it's a little tough. I wish I could tear some things out. I, That's what I exactly, love to do. a little love frustration, to right? No, Maybe we can't I can do get that. this out. All right, what I'd love to do is let's. Uh, you and I got to talk, Susan and I got to right. talk. Yeah. Let's run back and see if we can't talk together and see if we can't uh, figure this out. I think we're much closer than we think we are. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. I've talked with Kelly and I've talked with Susan. And the truth of the matter is, I think we're much closer than we think to finding a solution to this. We're going to go talk to them together and see if they can come up with the way to solve the kitchen dilemma. Okay, what are you willing to give up? Why do I always have to give up something? We you you, you always get your way. We have to come to a resolution. Hang on. Hang on. We have to come to a resolution. That's what we need. Hang on one Cabinets second. on order. Exactly. That's what we need. Hang on one second. Owners of Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath, listen to you two. You sound like your clients. I have to laugh. Yeah, about I feel it. like it. Exactly. Know. Well, and I can't like, believe we're in this position. Uh, exactly. He's a bad client. <laughs> a bad client. He's, He's a, a bad client. client. Here's the problem. You both know the business. You're excellent at what you do. You're both creative, you're both opinionated, and you can see pros and cons for everything. No, so she's not opinionated. Let me tell you what, it's a good thing. Everything that we're talking about today is good. What we're trying to do is just figure out what's gonna work for you guys to get this thing flipped. So with that yes. said, after talking to you. Uh, yes, Debbie, that would be my main thrust is exactly. to get the house sold. Cheerful and broad-mindedly, take a deep breath, because here's what we're gonna do. You and Susan are actually on the same page. What I heard you say was white cabinets are really good, budget is important, you know the vision, and you both agreed that flipping this thing and selling it as quickly as possible is the way to go. Number one priority. What do you think we need That's to do with the kitchen? What do you need to think we uh, need well, to do? Well, you know where I stand with it. I want to I want to spice it up a little bit. I'm I'm sick and tired of white, white, white. Oh, but let's do white shaker. Exactly. I mean, so what on. I hear you say is you're good with white. It, we sound just like you know, everybody else. <laughs> everybody else. That's why it will sell. That's what people are buying. All right. No, it's not your dream kitchen. It's it's, it's it's people the resale. People love all this other stuff. They they just won't do it. They're chicken. This is my favorite part. 
Kelly is not really a curmudgeon. He's just creative. So we have to get Susan to hear that side of him. Kelly is not really a curmudgeon. He's just creative. So we have to get Susan to hear that side of him. Let me do this. Let's have a couple of agreements right now and sort of set the ground rules for go moving forward. Again, let me go ahead and talk and then there'll be, you can feedback right after I talk, you can feedback. Let's do it one at a time because right now I think we're just kind of bantering back and forth, not getting a whole lot mm -hmm. um, accomplished. Mm -hmm. But what I want to say is Kelly, I honestly hear what you're saying. And I think that there's a way to compromise on this. And this is your expertise. This is where you mm -hmm. all are rock stars, literally. That is, my suggestion might be, white shaker cabinets, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Jazzy backsplash that you choose. It's got some funky, funky colors in it. Mm -hmm. You said you're doing uh, some really great appliances too. Stainless, modern looking appliances. Yeah. So, so that'll we agree get, on that. And will you pick out some of the hardware that can really give it some jazzy look? Well, yeah, you know, you would go with some, some bar poles or something more modern. And How about that? Does that work for you? You can't do that on, you know, <laughs> traditional. Okay. okay. But the bar, they will look, and you agree with that, they'll look well, they, they look nice on shatter. It wouldn't be my pick, but I'll go for that. Let me say this. Is this how you would handle one of your clients at Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath? I think absolutely. I think what makes me proud to work with you guys is that there always is a solution that will work for everyone. And this design dilemma is really not so hard to handle because once we take the emotion out of it, and you told me this, Kelly, before, if I can take the emotion out of this, okay, what's going to be the easiest, quickest, most cost-effective thing yeah. to do? I need to take my own advice. Mm-hmm. Because your advice usually is very, very good. I guess I'm a little stuck and, and being stubborn because I'm just so tired of seeing white, white, white. I, white and I white, hear white. you. And I, I don't, I don't do something think, different. Exactly. I, think that, I think we're going to get some young buyers in here more so than anything else. And, and I think they would love to see some really cool, exotic stuff, really modern flair. The house is modern. And maybe it's we can do a two-tone. We considered that at one point, too, kind of blending yeah. those. There you go. I would love to do that. Out. Let's but, definitely break it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, listen to you. I think we just solved this design dilemma, and it's simply from taking the emotion out of it, putting what the function is back into it. I. This is Will why you at I just let me have the island is yes. something a little funky. <laughs> what two tones are exactly. that going to be? What two tones? Oh, we'll figure that one out. I promise That's I won't an, pick purple. Uh, no purple. Another story for another day. Once again, I really appreciate guys. I appreciate you asking me in. Well, and thanks I think for we really us solved this one. Love you guys. Thanks. I am really excited. I think we did a good job of solving this design dilemma. We combined shaker and simple white cabinetry which will sell but we added modern hardware for Kelly's contemporary feel. We're going to go back in about six weeks and I think everyone's going to be thrilled at the way this kitchen turned out. My gosh Kelly I'm so excited you know I don't like this it's a control thing but I'm so excited okay. Hello hello hello. Huh? You like? I'm speechless. I'm never speechless. It Susan, good, huh? you did it. Looks good. Kelly, you did it. It is amazing. Look at this. I cannot believe what you all have accomplished. Got my Thank you. Modern Island. Yes. Yes, you did. Yeah, talk yes, me you through. did. Look at this. We've got a little bit of everything and it really flows together beautifully. All right, let's talk. You did get your Modern Island. Talk me through this. What did you do here? Well, slab, wood grain, you know, some nice uh, exotic type of wood look. So we got our exotic and a nice wood. contrast to the white. Shaker, mm -hmm. white shaker. And look at our white shaker. I love Modern the, hardware though. We took yeah, your advice I, on that. It worked okay out well. It. Exactly. 
I really like the glass panels. Talk me through a little bit. What do you use those for? Do you use those often in the business? Absolutely. And we've got this uh, staged because the house is on market, as okay. you know, for sale. So we wanted nice little tchotchkes up there and, and, and not a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But we put those in kitchens every day of the week and, and people use them and they function just like yeah, the like cabinetry. The I nice do too. Touch. It looks really mm -hmm. nice. I tell you what I really love. I love the handles that you all chose. I and got my way on that. You, you know, if Susan would have just listened to me, we would have gotten to this resolution a lot quicker. I know what I'm talking about. I've got good taste, good design abilities. Uh, let's face it, I got my island, I got my modern backsplash, I got my funky bar pulls. It all came together well. I'm okay with the white, but really guys, let's face it, I won. You did. She did. Listen, yeah, she there's did. still these little, uh, but but you did. And, to and be I'm honest, not bitter. No, I'm not bitter. <laughs> well, and to be honest with you, it really, it looks amazing. It looks Ta good. The countertop contrast I love. What is this? What is this? The field, the perimeter there is a granite, Okay. Uh, which wouldn't have exactly been my choice, but Kelly loved that backsplash, which okay. also adds a modern and contemporary she element to it. And, they, got your way, and they worked really, really well together. <laughs> so okay. that, that also was She picked the countertop so, to go with the backsplash primarily. Mm -hmm. And then this, uh, the island piece, much lighter to keep, okay. the, uh, you know, keep the whole kitchen kind of light and bright. And it's, Al it's Calcutta marble. Oh, oh is it really? A honed finish, which is very, very popular now. And talk to people about what... And Remember, Hilton Head Kitchen and Bath is your business, so now I kind of hear you not as um, clients, but as actually uh, the designers of this. Tell me about honed marble. Well, it's very popular right now. A lot of people aren't liking the sheen on the marble like you see in a typical high gloss. And it's a nice compliment too to the granite in the perimeter that is much more a high gloss. Uh, so it, it's a little bit more of a natural kind of organic feeling, which he also likes. So exactly. we went that way. And Shiny marbles show everything, you know, and this yeah. is a pretty high traffic, highly mm -hmm. used area. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this isn't going to show stains and fingerprints and all the stuff from cooking and goings on and wine rings. and. I really like how you integrated all of the the appliances too. These Bosch dishwashers are amazing. They're the that best. Great. They're the best. Quiet. And they so really that's, are. that's good for resale. Let me ask you this. Can you tell me about the cabinetry specifically? It is a shaker style. Is it wood? Is it thermofoil? What is it? It is a painted wood product. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely Euro gorgeous. Euro style, so wide open boxes. And Kelly, of course, is a cabinet expert. He mm -hmm. can always talk to those, uh, speak to those things better than I can. But wide open boxes, not a lot of um, mm -hmm. rails and styles. So you get a full access cabinet is what it's called. European style. European style, uh -huh, which basically is uh, what we're selling more of these days. Once you explain the difference to people, they like the European style. And then we did a nice crown. Yeah, that, that adds a lot. That adds a lot. It's a traditional element, but it, that is a contemporary crown. As you can see, it's pretty type modern. crown with no profile. It gives you know, a flair to the top of the cabinets, but you know, it doesn't have all that rack or, or gingerbread. Right. You know, one of the things I'm really impressed with that I think has pulled this whole place together is your use of paint. Yes. Was that was that something you really took into consideration? Oh, absolutely. I knew I wanted to do you know an island feel, and we know yes. those blues and those grays are really popular right now. And the and the the uh, particular blue that we have used in this room picks up the exact tones in the granite and the backsplash. And it's not offensive to anyone. If you don't happen to be a blue person, it's not a bright blue that that is frightful. Exactly. And again, for resale, so we had to keep that in mind. I love the way the kitchen turned out. It's exactly what I envisioned, almost but I definitely won this one. I love the two-tone island. I love the cabinets that I got. The hardware doesn't bother me so much. I won. Now, it's been about, what, five, six weeks since I've actually been in here, and the shell has just transformed into this amazing mm -hmm. kitchen. Looks like Were, a totally different house. Doesn't it? Didn't take a single wall. Were out. you all surprised at how, with a little imagination and a little just kind of um, non-emotional communication it came together because you told me this is one of your favorites you really love it too yeah this is a great kitchen it and came together well I mean I'm kind of we just had to put the emotions aside the opinions uh-huh yeah and see things my way oh, oh. Now, here we go again. Here we go. Don't get stuck yeah, started. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was a good compromise. It was a good compromise. He got what he wanted, and I've got, I have certainly got the overall uh, effect that I was going Did for. Did it actually give you some um, insight and understanding sometimes into what your clients may, oh, yes. may be going through when they come in? Mm -hmm. it's, you, it's been a learning experience for that, from that standpoint. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it could not have gone any more beautifully. I think the way you integrated both personalities, yet kept this functional and fun for someone buying it, in, from my point of view, this place is going to flip fast. 
So let's hope so. I love Fingers to hear crossed. That. I love yeah. To hear that. Well, it's been wonderful. Thank you all for sharing this design dilemma here with us. Thank you. Thanks. Wow, I love my job. Here's the thing that they don't know that I know. Kelly thinks he won this battle. Susan thinks she won this battle. The reality is the winner is me. They compromised, everybody's happy, and the kitchen is amazing. I really love this project. Working with Kelly and Susan was amazing, and I think we got a lot of insight into what it takes to really create a fantastic kitchen. There was a little dilemma, there was a little drama, but at the end of the day, everyone got exactly what they wanted. And I honestly think this house is gonna flip very quickly, and the kitchen is gonna be a great selling point. You know what I call this? I call this Freudian slip covers. A little bit of counseling therapy, a little bit of retail therapy.